So now let us work with creating an organizational chart in Microsoft Visio. So in order to work with organizational chart, I'm going to go into the categories option right here. And then I'm going to go into business where I have different organization options right here. So here you can see that there's an organization chart. Alternatively, you can go over here into the templates and simply type in organization just like this, press enter and it'll set for thousands of templates online. And this is the one we see uh, before as well. There are also other type of organizational charts available. So I'm just going to click on this and you can see that I can simply click create. So I'm gonna go into the default option right here and I'm going to go to create right here. So right now I'm just not using the word wizard. So let me press cancel and you can see that these are the organization chart are options right here there's multiple shapes and so forth so let us work with the basic one like there's the executive belt right here so let me just click and drag it over here so let's say the executive has a certain name and title so you can go and type in title for example tutor cube one and over here i'm just going to type in ceo all right so let's um so there are other people under the ceo as well suppose for example man managing director and cto so i'm going to add in the manager belt right here. So just simply going to drag in the manager belt right here and then I'm going to drop it off over here. And you can see that now here's the manager belt. So I can go over here. So this is tutor tube two and the name over here is CTO, press enter, uh, just like this, all right. And I'm going to add in another person below the CTO, so CEO, so there you go. So there's tutor tube three right here three and there's um, the for example uh, managing director MD all right there you go so this is how the chart is so I can simply drag it around and you can see that this is how it works so if you want to add in um, assistance under the CTO there's the position belt right here so that's the, just drag in the position belt just like that position so let's say uh, for example here's an IT officer and technical support maybe all right there. Nickel support there you go and it officer under it officer maybe there are some it uh, staffs right here so assistant belt right here just click and drag and there you go that's actually how it is rearranging so let me just click and drag and it officer there's um it staff one it staff one and another one assistant belt click and drag it around over here there you go the id staff two there you go so technical support maybe uh, does not have anything managing director and you get the idea so you can have assistant belt right here um, the position belt and have more people under like that so you can just manage everything out just like that and you can create an organizational chart there's also staff belt you can just click and drag it out over here you can see that the staff name actually appears like that let me just uh, delete that out so team frame just click and drag it out there's the team frame that you can work with um, just going to drag in the stuff belt right here so let's click the stuff and there you go you can add in stuff under so you can really work around with the hierarchy there so that is how you can create an organizational chart inside of microsoft Visio. hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe